so we have to ask ourselves, whose responsibility is it? And most people say, well, it's the man. No, it's not. Because every child was raised by a woman. Every child came into this world by a woman. And therefore, we have to ask ourselves, what happened? What happened that our women did not form our future? And it's why the church, again, takes it so important. Why is Mary in front of us? Because we know how important the woman is. And therefore, we honor her. Because we know it was her decision in the beginning. There it is. When we think of the history of salvation, there's two women we always point to. Eve, who said, no to God, and look at what happened. Mary, who says, yes to God, and gratefully, we again are grateful because we have salvation. We have the future. We have hope. And so it's dependent upon the woman. And so as we again contemplate this, we have to realize then that when the church celebrates the king's marriage, she again has this in her mind. And what she again is presenting to our young ladies, and that is the future is going to be in your hands. We're not going to be the one to form it. You are. Because you start from the very beginning. And you again put those seeds into the mind of the child. And you again can see that of the blossoming in their lives. Of course, it's a lot of work. You know, being especially that I've traveled the world and gone to places in Europe, and you think of the masters such as Raphael, Michelangelo, and Giotti, and Rembrandt, and yes, parents are just like them. Because they have to look at all the details, all of the things that are necessary in order to make sure that that which they want will be there at that moment, that they present their dog to the world. And therefore, as such, again, we look at that. But now it's Kimberly's, now it's Ashley's turn to say, now it's my responsibility. Now I have to live that life of a woman. And so we have that in the Epistle and Gospel. First, the praises of a woman. And then secondly, to have, again, of the life of a woman, Mary. She has just become the mother of God. And of course, she's heard from the angel that her cousin Elizabeth is with child. Her first thoughts, congratulate me. Her first thoughts, my cousin is going to need help. And therefore, she goes to visit her cousin to help, to assist him. She doesn't even think of herself. And therefore, as such, she goes with haste. And as we see this, then we look at that of those words, because as hermeneutics, as that is understanding and having that of how to interpret the scripture, we always look at the passages where the same phrases and words are used. And so we go back to chapter 24 in that of Genesis. In chapter 24, we read this account. There's Abraham. And Abraham again has done everything for you which they consider proper for your spiritual and material welfare. Now it is time for you to begin taking it to your own hands this responsibility according to the human and Catholic maturity. It is time that you began to think seriously about God's plan for you. That you reflect upon your calling in life and what you want to accomplish in the future. Before anything else, it is necessary that you conscientiously accept your baptismal promises you receive. On that occasion, you and your parents and God's parents spoke. And now you will speak again for yourself to renew and confirm these baptismal promises. We will begin by renouncing all that is evil and opposed to the development of your Catholic mind. At each question, you will answer with sincerity and decisively, yes, I do renounce. Kimberly, do we now sin that you may live in the freedom of the daughter of God? Yes, I do. Do we now see attractions of evil so that sin may not enslave you? Yes, I do. Do we now saint and father and author of sin? Yes, I do. Have we renounced everything that may be harmful to a Catholic faith? You may now profess your faith with complete liberty and fortitude answering, Yes, I do believe. Do you believe in God, the Father, and mighty creator of heaven and earth? Yes, I do believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born and died for us? Yes, I do Do you believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the Lamb? Yes, I do May the Lord graciously accept this disposition you have in renewed with renouncing evil and truth and fall of his will, and may fill your life Blessings. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we have now arrived at the climax of the celebration. At this time, Kimberly will freely offer herself to our Lord. Let us unite ourselves with our feelings and join with the affections of our heart.